Hey, Joey, come on in. I'm making tea. Sit down, sit down. Heard Shaw? Some kind of... Something's been eating through the floor. <laughs> anyway, I should go. Come on, we can play some cards. Not supposed to be here, you know, with the band. What band? This is a vacation. Away from all that crap in town. Yeah, well, see ya. You're gonna make me give you the speech, aren't you? You have to have the child in Yellowman. It's the rules. Mackenzie Health. I know. I know. So when are you going? It's time. Well, it would be nice to have someone there, you know? To help with details, like where to stay. Stay at the maternity residence. That's, it's like a boarding school. <clears throat> My sister Rochelle lives in Yellowknife. She's got lots of room. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's no big deal. Just call her. <sighs> what about Albert? Okay. I'm a human being. I need food. I need shelter. I do not need my home falling down around me. It's sunk five inches on one side. I have to strap myself into bed to keep from rolling out. I told you we're gonna fix it. When? Soon. This week. I have a signed agreement. Proper installation is the exact wording. Try to boil an egg this morning and no propane. Block shifted, pinch the line. Is it leaking? Should I light a match and find out? I'll get Sam out there tomorrow. Morning. Morning. I'm billing you for my breakfast. Cheaper than a lawsuit. I could have my baby in Lynx River. I mean, I could. You did. You said I was crazy, remember? Sarah? Should I talk to you? Well, everything worked out okay for you. Sarah. What? Are you suicidal? No, not right now. Good. Go have a smoke. I'll be there before you're done. Okay. What? I wish you wouldn't say things like that. I know you're kidding. He knows you're kidding. But what if someone from Mackenzie Health came in? <laughs> Ellen, come on. Whoever walks in. I'm just saying that if they did, all right? You don't need more excuses. To do what? Another evaluation. That's what they do. They're bureaucrats. Did you win the lottery or something? Why? I don't know, you just uh, seem happy. I mean, not happy, happy, but... Why well, can be happy? Oh, well, I know, I know. It's just... This is good. I'm glad. Where are you going? Church. I'll see you later. Church in the middle of the week? Her and Rosemary, they pray together or something. What, no refill? I thought you were off today, Jerry. Off what? My foundation? My rocker? Yeah, I'm off, all right. Why don't you go home? To what? The leaning trailer of Pisa? 
You're getting on my nerves. Good. Nobody here gives a damn if I sink into the muskeg. They're gonna fix your trailer, Jerry. Well, damn right they are. A coffee could get real expensive. Thank you, Rosie. Albert, go to Yellowknife? Why? Well, why not? I mean, he is a father. I'm his... Well, we're a couple. What you gonna do? Be there. For me? He'll get in the way. <sighs> so, Nathan. How's he doing? Is he sick? He's... confused. Pushing and pushing. It's not his fault they moved his trailer, pushed him out of town. Sure as hell ain't mine. You're a chief. Sandra says Elijah's been acting up, hitting other kids. He's three years old. That's what kids do. He's been swearing at her. Something's bothering him. He's angry. Remember when we took him up to your uncle's winter cabin? The time you fixed the roof? We'll go again sometime. Mm. It means to be with you more. Me too. You know, we could have left him out there with nothing. Who? Jerry. He doesn't realize when people are trying to help him. Anyway, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Mary said I should stay with her sister. Oh, that's good. I haven't called her yet. I don't want to be there alone. I want someone there. I want you there. I, uh, can have the baby for you. Are you coming or not? If I can. For what? A, a month? A day? A half hour? Depends. On what? Nathan? What about Nathan? Just like he's, you know, losing his head out in the bush. Who's saying this? Joey. Word of a kid. It's not even supposed to be out there anyway. Just call that woman in the yellow life. Tell her you want a place to stay. Just keep a running tab. See how they like getting a plumbing invoice for me. Let's see now. An hour and a half labor, 80 bucks an hour. Slightly separated shoulder. Knocked me 20 feet. <laughs> Dug a trench in my forehead. Sprained knee, shock from the concussion. Jeez, Jerry, you're lucky to be alive. That's me, lucky Jerry. Why don't you take it easy for a few days? And your trailer to start with? Valuable personal possessions. Are you listening to me? 
He had a very bad shock. Really? I hadn't noticed. Rest first, and we'll talk about this later. Oh, it's gonna be quite the compensation package. We'll get you some things. <laughs> Go ahead. Try and worm out of it. I'll help you back to the motel. Has it ever occurred to you that Nathan might be faking it? The guy grew up on lies. I mean, the land doesn't make people go crazy. The land heals. It's not the land, Michelle. It's in him. I know. You know, it starts small. It's like pulling a thread out of a sock, walking to the window every 40 seconds, counting the steps. And all the time, that, that worm is gnawing in there. Nathan's not you. No, no, he's not. You should be on that plane tomorrow. Why won't Albert come with me? I don't know. But if you wait too long, the pilots won't take you. Gasoline, right? Let's ignite the bastard. <laughs> yeah. I thought first, you know, just just build a fence. And a Wolverine. He'd climb right over it. Barbed wire. He digs under it. Can't even poison the sucker. It's too smart. Sure it's a Wolverine? Tonight, you'll hear him. Shouldn't stay. Feel a storm coming on. So, Joe, how are the knees? Try them if I could. Porcupine. It's no Wolverine. Oh. oh, man, I feel like I slept a year. Uh, did uh, you hear it last night? Came and went. Don't provoke it. But stand your ground. He's the intruder. Porcupine. It's not gonna hurt him. Unless the tree threw his foot by mistake. Maybe he needs a Wolverine. Well, the band was prepared to deal with any damages caused by the move, but as soon as you picked up your flyers. Oh, I see. It's my fault. Would you listen? We're trying to help you. I mean, you did blow up your own trailer, Jerry. So we call in the lawyers. <laughs> you wouldn't stand a chance, and you know it. You know what you are? You're racists. I'm getting screwed because I'm white. Jerry. And you're next, brother. That's the bottom line around here. I have a signed agreement. And so do we. It's called Treaty 11. Treaty 11? I'm talking about business, ethics, fairness. So am I. You're in business here because we let you be in business. And you live here because we let you live here. And where would you be without us?
here. He'll get over it. Honey, come on. Put yourself in his shoes. I've tried. No more. been six months now. His aides, we used to do that all the time. It was different for us. We never had satellite TV. He's been hunting indoors. He's not your kid. No Captain Crunch, no Cherry Cola, no toilet paper. Jerry. This isn't necessary. Necessary? Now that's an interesting word, isn't it? In the grand scheme of things, none of this was necessary. Now we're going to see what's really necessary. Shoelaces? Toothpaste? Hot dog buns. Jerry! What the hell are you doing? What does it look like? Half this store belongs to me. Well, my half is closing. You can't do this. This store is now disputed property. And until this dispute is resolved, no one touches anything. Now you can all go hunt and gather your own barbecue chips. All right. Uh, myself, yeah. Yeah, well, I I'm not sure if my... Uh, if the father can... can make it. Can you hold on a second? Okay. <sighs> the baby? No, it's Rochelle. Ellen, I don't want to go. I'm not good with strangers. You'll do fine. Ellen! Hi, Rochelle. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Just the, uh, these waves, I get these waves. Look at that hat, it can move around. Look. <laughs> Where's Peter? He didn't show up to get Elijah. No. He promised. It's all the stuff for Jerry. Well, he shouldn't have let them move the trailer. I'll make some tea. He's having a tantrum. It won't last. Maybe. But people need groceries. Uh, we already ordered in a shipment of emergency supplies. They'll be here tomorrow. We'll make sure everybody has what they need, and we'll sell the rest out of the band office. But, um, we're gonna need some help setting it up. Why would I go into competition with myself? Well, you're not in business right now. And who knows how this is all gonna end. You should have fixed his trailer. Well, it's too late for that now. And he had his chances. Think about it. I'm not talking to them, Rosie. They want to talk to me, tell them to put an offer in writing. Can I come in? Rosie's pretty ticked off. So am I. You know, the band is flying in emergency supplies. They're gonna sell them out of the band office. What? Peter's gonna sell the milk? <laughs> That's rich. 
It doesn't have to go this way, Jerry. Look at me. This is all I got now. A cheap friggin' motel room like some bullhunk traveling shoe salesman. No, it's not the way it has to go. But somehow, that's how it always turns out. Good night. Sandra, to Lois and Rosemary, to Michelle, to me. No wonder he's acting up. Did he go to bed all right? He was wondering where you were. So was I. I was nuts today. Trying to get those supplies ordered and booking the damn charter. to call day. You weren't? You weren't there. We got a crisis here. Is that what we have to do to get your attention? Be a crisis? This is about the treatment center, isn't it? Don't turn this on to me. If you hate it here so much, maybe you should make other arrangements. What's that for? Barricade. How long are you keeping me here? Time's not the thing. That's some influence. Yeah, right. That's how I got here. At least in jail, I'd have a TV. Could bring you in. Have the nurse look you over. I'm getting stronger. Is that why you want me back? Before I get too strong? The other day, I stared at a tree and it fell. That's influence. You got no power here. Get any sleep? Not much. She's so... It's a single mind. I, I, I don't know what's going on. Talk to her. It's not easy. You're gonna have to start. I need some time to think about it. Okay, I'm here. What's the deal? A partnership. You and the band, 50-50. You make a profit. We don't. You can't run a store in the band office. Well, if Jerry's not in business, he's not going to be around here long. How 
we doing? Startup pains. What'd she say? Okay, Lois, let's fix this mess. <laughs> it's all yours. Hi, Joe. What's up? Circle's meeting at Peter's house. We're going to talk about Nathan. Whose idea was that? Mine. You should be there. Say we did have the money. We hire a therapist, increase our numbers. Who knows what their real agenda is? Do you? I don't. It's yellow knife politics, and then there's the whole Sarah issue. All right. Call me back Thursday. Okay, bye. I, um, went to Michelle's last night. Uh, everybody's ready. I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Look, I... Links River Treatment Center. Yes, thanks for getting back to me. I had a few questions. Let's hear from Joel. Nathan is a lot like Clifford White might. Back in the 50s, Clifford couldn't handle his demons. Got worse after the banning. Two years later, he killed his cousin in a knife fight. Then he hung himself. Maybe it's time to bring Nathan home. Haven't heard from Michelle. Well, we said a year. I think we should wait a year. Time's not important. As you learn, that's what counts. He was found guilty of some serious crime. But if there's consensus, Albert will keep an eye on him. No good bringing him home if we don't have consensus. And we don't. Rosie said second aisle. This is fine. It's a joke. You'll see. Co-ops never work. Never. Well, it's not a co-op, Jer. It's a business. Seems to be working. That's even funnier. The band's gonna run a business. The band and Rosie. 50-50 partnership. Are you packed yet? Sarah, I've been busy. So have you by the sound of it. Albert's the one who doesn't want Nathan back. Well, that's not what I heard. I would have gone along with the others, and he knew it. He made it look like it was me. Why? Why does Albert do anything? Why is it so important to you, Sarah? He's going to be my baby's brother. How about that? What about Yellowknife? What about Yellowknife? After all I've done for you... What did you think I was gonna do while you were throwing your fit, huh? Maybe show a little loyalty? Look who's talking after you boarded my store. Whose store? I got a family to look after. I can't afford to behave like a brat when I don't get my way. 
So you're really going to do it? You're going to go into business with the band? Why shouldn't I? Because they'll screw it up and take you down with it. Like you care. Rosie, I... Fine. You want to be in business? Business is competition. Peter's at my place. He's a complicated guy. I can see how you could get frustrated. Did he say that? I'm frustrated? I mean frustrated with him. Believe me, I know. Well, you can't really. There are things he should be saying to me. That's what I told him. But he opens to you. I'm his sister. I'm his wife. Nathan is not your concern. Yes, he is. It was Michelle who spoke against him at the circle. That's right. And you didn't say anything. I know you, Albert. I know how you operate. He doesn't want to come back. Yes, he does. Coffee's on. You're almost out of sugar. I'll get some at the co-op. Working out the way you plan? He did it to himself. I think you should go home. Why? Because I'm ending up in the middle of it, and I don't like it. What do you mean, we? Hey, you know the margins in a coffee shop? I got the grill. I got the ovens. I got the customers. you the last three nights you made a decision i burned meat <laughs> and i burned bones <laughs> i guess you like it raw huh <laughs> Come down. Uh, you come up. You ever 
see a Wolverine climbing a ladder? Seen Sarah? No. I know. She has to sign the waiver if she's going to have the baby here. If not, she has to get on a plane. Today. I know. Not tomorrow, not later, not soon. Today. I'm tired of chasing her around. You chase her around, okay? All right. Peter. I won't do this anymore. Do you mind telling us why not? I can do better on my own. So you'd rather work with him? For now. But this won't happen again. I promise. Where are you going? She's not gonna help. I'm not gonna either. What kind of pie you think it is? Blueberry. Definitely. Sarah been in here? I haven't seen her. So where are you gonna live, Jerry? Oh, I'll find some little music hall somewhere. In the motel. Till they lease him a new trailer. Well, you're lucky to be alive. My boy wants a Coke. It's not good for Elijah when you go away like that. He thinks you're mad at him. I don't know what's happening to us, but I want it to stop. Me too. It's me. 
and I have to sort it out somehow. By yourself? should make some pretty good money off this stunt. Especially since we don't have to pay the air freight. <laughs> Look what they were charging for this stuff. I set the prices. So, we boosted across the board by 20%. Hey, we gotta recoup some losses here. We put all this stuff on sale. What? There's still hard feelings around because of the way you acted. 20% off. Okay. We'll try it your way. Yeah. We will. And we're gonna have it all on the shelves for tomorrow morning. Yeah. And I'm going home. They've been having babies here for 10,000 years, right? I am crazy. Oh, you're not. 